As the news of Ferguson's book hit the stands, the public was immediately drawn to the sensational claims it contained. Sarah Ferguson, once a member of the royal family and a close friend to Princess Diana, has always had a unique perspective on the inner workings of the monarchy. Her candidness, coupled with her enduring ties to the royal family, creates a compelling platform for her to share insights that few others could. But what she has shared in her book is nothing short of explosive. Critics have dubbed it a tell-all. And for Harry and Meghan, it might just be the proverbial nail in the coffin. The book dives deep into the complexities of royal life, detailing not only Ferguson's experiences but also her perspectives on Harry and Meghan's controversial choices. From their decision to leave the UK to their controversial interviews, Sarah doesn't hold back. Her words paint a picture of a couple who, according to Ferguson, has lost touch with the very essence of what it means to be part of the royal family. She raises questions about their motives, suggesting that their actions are driven by a desire for fame rather than a genuine commitment to their causes. This perspective is particularly damaging, as it plays into the narrative that many skeptics hold, that the Sussexes are more concerned with celebrity than service. Ferguson's book also explores her own relationship with the royal family, contrasting her experiences with those of Harry and Meghan. She emphasizes the importance of loyalty and duty, traits she believes the Sussexes have ignored. This is a striking criticism coming from someone who herself faced her share of scrutiny and scandal during her time in the royal spotlight. By positioning herself as a voice of reason, Ferguson invites the public to reconsider the decisions made by Harry and Meghan, urging them to reflect on the consequences of their choices and the impact on their family. The fallout from Ferguson's revelations has been swift. Sources close to Harry and Meghan have reportedly indicated that the couple is feeling the pressure. The public's reaction to the book has been largely mixed, with many expressing outrage at the perceived betrayal from a former royal. Yet, this outrage is coupled with a sense of curiosity. Audiences are eager to hear what Sarah has to say. This unpredictability has left Harry and Meghan scrambling to control the narrative, a situation they are not accustomed to. The couple, who once seemed to wield the power of their media presence, now finds themselves on the defensive. In response to Ferguson's claims, Harry and Meghan have issued a series of statements intended to clarify their position. They emphasize their commitment to their charitable endeavors and their desire to promote mental health awareness, equality, and social justice. However, the more they attempt to counter Ferguson's narrative, the more it appears as though they are simply reacting to a growing tide of criticism. This panic mode is reminiscent of their initial response to the fallout from their infamous Oprah interview where they faced a barrage of public scrutiny and backlash for their candid revelations about royal life. As the book continues to gain traction, the Sussexes team is reportedly working overtime to formulate a strategic response. They are aware that public perception is everything, and with Ferguson's words resonating with many, they must act quickly to regain control of their image. The couple's past attempts at damage control have often come off as insincere, leading to further skepticism from the public. This time, However, the stakes feel higher. With Ferguson's book being positioned as an insider's account, Harry and Meghan may find it more challenging to sway public opinion in their favor. Amidst the chaos, there is speculation about how the rest of the royal family will respond to Ferguson's revelations. It's no secret that relationships within the family have been strained since Harry and Meghan's departure. Ferguson, known for her close ties to the late Princess Diana, has often been seen as a bridge between the Sussexes and the rest of the royal family. Her decision to speak out could either mend fences or further deepen the divide. The royal family's silence on the matter speaks volumes. They may choose to distance themselves from the controversy or, alternatively, address it head-on in a way that could set the tone for future interactions. Social media has also played a significant role in amplifying the fallout from Ferguson's revelations. Platforms like Twitter and Instagram are abuzz with reactions, as fans and critics alike weigh in on the situation. Hashtags like hash Harry and Meghan and hash Sarah Ferguson book are trending, as users dissect every claim and counterclaim. The immediacy of social media means that Harry and Meghan's every move is under scrutiny, and their attempts at damage control are met with real-time feedback from the public. This environment can be unforgiving. A single misstep could lead to further backlash and criticism. As Harry and Meghan navigate this turbulent chapter, they must also contend with the very real implications of Ferguson's claims on their future endeavors. The couple has built a brand centered on authenticity, compassion, and social impact. However, 
If public perception shifts against them, it could jeopardize their charitable initiatives and partnerships. The stakes are high as they attempt to maintain their relevance and secure their positions as influential figures in the charitable world. The media's response to Ferguson's book has varied widely. While some outlets celebrate her honesty and willingness to speak out, others criticize her for airing the royal family's dirty laundry. This dichotomy reflects the broader conversation about privacy and public life that has become increasingly relevant in today's society. The Sussexes have often argued for their right to privacy, yet their public actions frequently contradict that desire. Ferguson's revelations complicate this narrative further, inviting the public to question the couple's true intentions.